you're a first time viewer make sure you subscribe and hit the little bell icon to be notified of my upcoming videos and make sure you like and share also follow us on facebook and please have a look at my new website www.modelrailroadtechniques.com welcome back ladies and gentlemen this is darren from mrt this week's episode we're going to be looking at train animator and using our own images of our engine and cars and how we can use them in train controller so without further ado let's get started so the first thing we need to do is go to free world software and the download section i won't go into how we download it i think we've uh, covered it in previous videos but that's what we end up doing so we download that onto the system and then we'll bring it up so let's get into it so the next thing we need to do um, if you don't already have some sort of basic editor of pictures um, we need to bring one in so i use this one called Fastone image viewer so here it is here i'll put a link below but basically what uh, animator requires is 48 pixels high seems to be the magical number so we just download that onto the system and i'll show you what we do next all right so this is the the fast stone sort of interface now we, what we need to do is bring up our own photo so there's various ways of doing that i'll go via the, the file open option so you can either download it off the internet put it into a file or as i've done i've already downloaded a file here all right, so this is the the interface now. I've selected the the file that I want to use, which is the little uh, Alco S4. So what we need to do that's obviously the the image brought up in the editor. So what we need to do is go to the cropping settings. So as I said, the magic number for train controller for some reason is 48 pixels high. So all we need to do is change it to 48 pixels high, and obviously it diminishes the the size of the the image at that point in time one thing i need to point out is there's a little um check box down the bottom uh, preserve aspect ratio that needs to be checked so what that does when you change the 48 image uh, sorry 48 pixels high that automatically calculates the, the the width of the of your image okay the next thing we need, need to do next is save the image so i normally do type of locomotive it is or car then underscore and 48 or 48 pixels so it's easy to pick up once we bring it up in the animator which i'll show you next so the next thing we're going to do we're going to get out of fast stone image viewer and bring up the animator so currently on the screen is the animator interface so you can see that's just obviously a, a stock locomotive picture there but you can see roughly what we're trying to do what we're going to the next process we're going to do is sort of render all the edges here um, as you can see pointing with the arrow so what that actually does it just makes it look a little bit nicer on the eye and on the screen when we bring it into train controller so the next thing we need to do is bring our own locomotive image in you can see me scrolling up and down so it's just a matter of finding the the correct folder that you had your image into so just remember to bring in the one that we downloaded with the 48 pixels because obviously that's the one we're going to need so it's just a matter of double click on it and you'll see now it's popped up um, here so you'll see down the bottom the picture right down the bottom i'll link it with an arrow so how do we render this image so you'll see a little button on the right hand mid screen we click on that saying edit image and that brings up the image so what we need to do from now i normally blow it up so it makes it a little bit easier so i go up to eight to ten times and you'll see it there okay so every image is sort of different so you can see the the right hand side i'm circling that's the rendering bit with the sort of diagonal lines so what we need to do we need to all the white bits we go and effectively paint so how do we do that you can go and select various sort of brushes as i'm doing there and then it's just a matter of filling it in just tapping with the left mouse button um, sometimes a little bit of trial and error regarding the, the correct size however so you'll see the that the image is just made up a whole lot of pixels or dots or colored squares so it's just a matter of going through and systematically filling all the white ones now i wouldn't be too concerned if you accidentally fill in some other ones now there is some detail i might get rid of so handrails and all that on the front of it i'll normally white out or render out because ultimately they're pretty hard to see on the small image once you bring it into train controller so at this point it's just a matter of going around the the whole outside of the locomotive it's up to you oh sometimes i'll get rid of buffers um, and the rail as i'm doing there um, as I said, they're a little bit hard to, to see once you bring them into train controller. So a, a very basic sort of square type diesel as this one is, um, doesn't really take a, a lot of time. It's just a matter of a few minutes. But a, lo a um, steam locomotive with s sand domes and smokestacks and the like can take a little bit longer. But as you'll see at the end, it's worthwhile. 
then you can use your own images within train controller so you can see I've sort of skipped ahead and finished it all off so quite often I'll come in and out and sort of have a bit of a look at it um, that's obviously the larger version of it so to see what the actual rendering looks like now for some reason that I can't explain sometimes after you've done all the rendering the bottom picture doesn't really show a true indication of what you've actually how you've actually rendered it so sometimes you need to come in and out of um, that image mode a few times to actually get the full picture what it actually looks like as you can see I'm sort of playing around with it there so these are the um, contrasts and all that you can contrast it up and down but um, it's something I, I really use so you can see now that the image is sort of updated and you can sort of see there's a little bit of uh, around the, the front end of that locomotive you can change the colors um, do it what you want but I sort of make this nice sort of gray color at the end of it which sort of makes it look uh, nice and neat and tidy okay once you're sort of happy with the image that I'm sort of indicating there there's a little bit to do at the front there but uh, for this purpose of this demonstration that's right so we need to go and save the image so this is going to save it into the animator format image so it's just a matter of going save as finding the folder you want to put it in um, I put all mine on a thumb drive because I swap between computers but that can be problematic uh, when you want to bring it across into train controller so it's just a matter of saving it and then getting out of the animator so now I'll show you how to bring it into a train controller the, the next step is to bring it into train control so I've brought up just the the test version to try to keep out the clutter so it's a bit easy to see so we're in edit mode we go to the trains tab go add engine you'll see in the train and engine part um, window there a engine comes up so you double click on that and then it brings up this little interface so you go to the general tab and I normally just type in the type of locomotive it is um, your name and convention can do then we go over to the browse section and this is where we find the engine so you can see how I've now brought that in okay so you can see I'm now out and you can have a look at the appearance after rendering it's brought it uh, nice neat little lines uh, around the locomotive there so so what we're going to do now is change the spelling of my badly spelled Alco so we'll just do that to start with now I was talking whether to put this in this video or not but I think it's sort of relevant because it's sort of the next logical step is going adding some of the parameters to the locomotive so we'll go back into the locomotive now I won't talk about the connection to the DCC or the like but what I I like doing is going researching the locomotive so you can see me doing that there so I'll just type in Google search Alco and normally bring up Wikipedia or something similar so the sort of stuff that you can put into it is obviously you can physically measure the locomotive so it needs to know how long the locomotive is so that becomes relevant for when we profile also it we I like to within reason get some sort of prototypical speed so for you people in the metric world so this locomotive is about 96 kilometers per hour it can get up to but I'll, I'll always round it up or down so I'll put it back down to 95 also another real relevant one is the kilowatts so that the power of this locomotive so that becomes more relevant when you're adding locomotive with train sets uh, for braking and stopping and starting so some neat little things you can do within train controller so this is just me researching the the locomotive um, on this particular site I couldn't find the top speed so I end up having to go somewhere else now on the back on the generals tab you'll see that the 16 centimeters has been add, added I should say which is the physical length of the HO locomotive and I will chuck in the tonnage at that point in time which is, I think this locomotive is about 104 ton I can see you can see I'm putting the, the speed forward and reverse in for this locomotive which is 90 as I spoke before about 95 kilometers an hour so you do it forward and backwards and the kilowatts go in there as well and the kilowatts being 700 all right now we X out of that and the locomotive is at its next stage and uh, we won't go into profiling that'll be definitely another video and that might be the next one so at this point in time, that's uh, all for this video. Uh, thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time. Make sure you subscribe.
click that little bell icon to be notified of upcoming videos. Support us on Patreon. Like us on Facebook and Instagram at Model Railroad Techniques. Please have a look at my new website, www.modelrailroadtechniques.com.